fellow guitarist Josh Rogers here. Welcome to the tutorial for Sons de Carrillos or Sounds of Bells by Pernambuco. If you want the tabs for this, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe, like the video, and in that comment, leave your email address and I'll email the tabs out to you. You can also head to our website, the link is down below, and you can download free tabs and also some paid full scores of the sheet music and the tab included. Before we start, make sure you Tune your E string down to D. Let's do this. It starts with a half bar at the 7th fret and 4th finger on the 10th fret of the 1st string. We're going to pick 1st string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Then move to the 9th fret on the 1st string. Keep holding this half bar. Play 6 and 1 together and then 3 and 2 twice. by open A. Then we have a slight scale run from the 7th fret on the 1st string, then 10, 8 on the B string. Second finger on the 2nd fret of the 6th string and an open B together. Then we have 2nd fret on the D string and an open G together twice. to the 6th string, 2nd fret, followed by open, 2, 3 on the B string. And we're moving up to the 7th fret on the B string, we play the 7th fret and an open A at the same time and prepare a half bar across the 5th fret. That's the 5th fret on the D string and the 6th fret on the G string together twice. Open A and then 5th fret 2nd string, 5th fret 1st string, 7th fret B string. Then we have open D and open B together. 2nd fret on the G string, 4th fret on the D string twice. finger onto the 5th fret of the A string and we do 6, 3, 4, 5, twice. Bit around this finger and 2nd finger goes onto the 4th fret of the D string. Play the 6 and 4 strings together then move that to the 3rd fret and then to the 2nd fret. Followed by open G and open B twice. 6th string, 2nd fret, followed by open, 2, 3 on the B string to the 7th fret, play the 7th fret and the open A together, it's 5th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G string twice, open A, 5 on the 2nd string, 5 on the 1st string, 7th fret on the B string, that sequence sounds like this. Seventh fret on the D string, ninth fret on the A string, together. Then back to the beginning. We play through to here. Instead of doing this, which is from the first time, this time we're going to do this. There we have second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the D string, and then a pull off to an open D. So if we take it from here. Diminished arpeggio run. Starts on the 6th fret of the A string, then 4, 7 on the D string, 5 on the G string, 4, 7 on the B string, 5, 8 on the
on the E string. Then a quick little hammer on pull off. That's from 5 to 7 on the fishing and pull up. And let's take it from there. And to the 8th fret on the B string. Open E, open B, open G. 2nd fret on the D string. 2nd fret on the A string. Pull off to the 1st fret on the A string. The sequence sounds like this. Open A, 2nd fret on the G string, 4th fret on the D string, pull off to an open D. We have a block chord, 1st finger, 2nd fret, 6th string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, D string, and open G, open B. So that's 6, 4, 3, 2 together. Then put your 3rd finger onto the 2nd fret of the B string, thumb comes down, we play 5, Four, three, two. First finger, second fret G string, second finger, third fret B string, third finger, fourth fret D string, those three strings and an open D. From the arpeggio. Moving to the second part of the song is a key change to G major. 3rd finger on the 5th fret of the 6th string, 4th finger 5th fret D string, 2nd finger 4th fret G string, and a bar. Here I'm doing the 6, 4, 3, 2 strings. So the bass is on the first one but not the next two. There I lift the bar off and my 1st finger comes to the 4th fret on the B string. Pick the same strings. Bass only on the first one. Then we move into this chord. Open A and 7th fret on the B string together. 5th fret on the G string, 7th fret on the D string, those two strings together. Open D, 8 on the 1st string. 7 on the B string, and then back to the 8. Then we're moving to here. Put my 1st finger onto the 5th fret of the G string, and these two have stayed there. And I'm picking the open D and the first 3 strings. Then. Second 2, no bass note. There, I've lifted off my third finger, play all four strings, and then only three, two, and one. That full sequence is. Then we're going to move. First finger, seventh fret on the G string. Second finger, eighth fret on the B string. 3rd finger, 9th fret on the D string, 4th finger, 10th fret on the 1st string. We play 4 and 1 strings together, followed by 2 on the 3 and 2 strings. Then we do the note on the 9th fret on the D string. Okay, so let's just take that a little bit at a time. Starting on that 9th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the 1st string, 12, 10, on the first string. Eight on the B string, seven on the G string, nine on the D string, ten on the A string. It's an arpeggio actually. So then we're going back. After you've done this note on the tenth fret, go back to the ninth fret on the D string, back to the seventh fret on the G string. to the 10th fret on the 1st string, then a hammer on pull off from 8 to 10 on the 1st string, there we have 7th fret on the 1st string, then a chromatic run, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, all on the B string. We take it from these little sequences here. Back to this chord, which I 
hopefully you know now. In the previous sequence we were going here. But this time, open D and 5th fret on the E string at the same time. Followed by 5th fret on the G string, 4th fret on the D string, those two together twice. Leave these two here. Your first finger is going on to the 3rd fret of the B string. Play an open A at the same time, so that's 5 and 2 strings together. And then back to these two, just once. I'll put that whole sequence together. Start it all again. So that's all the same, but instead of going here, we're going to do this. After the 10th fret on the 1st string, we're going to go 12, 9 on the B string. This is how it was, but now it's like this. After this note, the 9th fret on the B string, going to an open A, then we're doing a pull off on the B string from 3 to open B, then to the 1st fret on the G string, then from the 2nd fret on the D string to a pull off to the open, so that sounds like this. Then we've got a couple of really nice chords. It's basically an A minor with a C in the bass. First finger, first fret on the B string. Third finger, second fret, G string. Second finger, second fret, D string. Fourth finger, third fret, A string. We're just going to run through that way. Five, four, three, two. Move this shape along. You can use whichever finger you want to guide you. So if you're thinking, oh well, you know, I'll use this one, then you're going to take this to the sixth fret and everything is going to follow it like that. Keep the shape exactly the same. Same picking everything. Take it from here. It sounds like that. Then we're moving to a G major chord. Fifth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, third fret on the B string. So after this chord. This chord before, but I'll explain the game. Fifth fret on the B string, fifth fret on the G string, fourth fret on the D string, and we're playing the open D as well. Done this one as well. Keep these two here. This one goes on to the third fret of the B string, and we're going to move to an open A this time. Then we're moving to a G major chord. Fifth fret on the sixth string and third fret on the first string, and we're playing six, three, two, one, like that. And then we do a rapid succession of notes on the D string. One, two, three, four, five, six. In some scores, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. If you want to do it that way, my score doesn't have it like that, but you can. The last three Ds are actually this D here on the third fret of the B string, so it would sound like this. But I do it like this. Then it starts again. to the beginning. To finish the song, Basically you finish it where you started, half bar at the 7th fret, 
fourth finger on the tenth fret of the first string and you just strum through. I like to use the edge of my thumb here, it gives a really nice tone. That's the whole thing, done and dusted. Remember if you want to follow along exactly with me, I strongly suggest that you subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment below with your email address and I'll send those tabs out. Or you can head to my website, there's a whole lot of awesome stuff there, there's lots of free downloads and some paid downloads as well. Also if you want to see what I'm doing, like my guitar playing, all the shows that I do all around the world, you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, you can find the links for those down below as well. Happy playing! Enjoy yourselves, have fun with your guitar, and as you know, let your fingers fly.